The largest challenge that we face is time. It is a hospital. It's imperative that we're able to provide support and get resolution for people as quickly as possible. My name is Jessica Mason. I'm a desktop solution specialist at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Depending upon how you count devices, we have anywhere from 20 to 40,000 devices that are on our network. My name is Brian Grandi. I'm the manager of network engineering for Memorial Hermann Healthcare Systems. My main responsibilities here at Memorial Hermann are overseeing the edge network. I summarize it as LAN, WAN, and wireless. All of the networking responsibilities independent of the data centers itself. The most common time that I see the link spinner being used is either by my team when we're deploying new access points and we're trying to make sure that everything has been set up for that environment, or whenever we have construction and we've got new people moving in a new area, if there's a performance issue that's being reported. It really kind of provides a very quick and simple dividing line between is it a client-side device or is it something network? When you're out in the field, you need to be able to gather information as quickly as possible. Using the Link Sprinter, I'm able to get port information, VLAN information, duplex information immediately sent directly to my phone. Link Spinner is definitely helping us with efficiency because when I put it in the hands of the field support technician, they're able to plug it in, they get all the relevant metrics immediately in an easy to understand format, and it uploads it to the Link Live Cloud for us to see it and for them to see it, making the communication path as it gets handed off from their team to our team so much simpler. The Link Live Cloud has definitely been very valuable to us because we've organized all of the Link Sprinter devices that we have deployed out in the field into the different folders. We are able to contain where the results go as, as it's viewed on the website. We are able to add comments or add pictures, which can be useful as a technician calls in or enters a ticket. We know what device we're using. We can kind of contain our look and look at just the results that they've run for that. Link Sprinter does help me be more self-sufficient and have to reach out to Brian's team less often. It's able to provide information that normally I would have to page out the network engineering team. Information about the port, information about the VLAN, whether or not there's a static or DHCP address assigned to it. This way I can retrieve that information myself, frees up his team for larger projects, larger issues. Whereas before we had about 10 to 12 tickets a week, now we have about two, maybe three tickets a week where that type of information and interaction comes to us, but the first time it comes to us, we have all of the information we need to do in order to immediately respond to the situation. And for those tickets that do come to us and aren't able to be resolved by the field support, our time to resolution has decreased dramatically. Uh, I am able to view information about the port wherever the port may be. I'm able to sync up the link sprinter to my phone with a very simple app. I don't have to go back to my desk. I don't have to contact another team. All that information is right there with me out in the field in my hands. It makes things work faster for us. We can provide better support for the doctors and for the nurses and make their day easier. If their day is easier, they can provide better care for the patients.